Now let's start discussing about flywheel. The very first video we we'll look at is the turning moment diagram for a four-stroke cycle. So you can see that this is a plot between torque and the crank angle. Okay, and the you can see this uh, shaded area. It represents the energy. So the energy keeps on fluctuating. There is no constant energy which is there in the engine or in the four-stroke cycle. Okay, so in going from 0 to pi, you have your suction stroke. So this is the suction stroke. And then this would be the compression stroke. This is the working stroke and this is the exhaust stroke. So the complete cycle is from 0 to 4 pi, that is 720 degrees. Two rotations, so two revolutions of the crankshaft. Now see. What happens is that during the suction stroke, the pressure inside the cylinder is negative. So there is a negative loop that is produced. Okay. Now what happens in the compression stroke? Why is there a negative uh, loop in the compression stroke? In compression stroke, the work is done on the gas by the piston. So this is basically the work which is provided okay, to the uh, gases. So you have a higher negative loop because we are giving energy to the gases, we are compressing them. The actual work production is in just pi rotation of the crankshaft okay. and this is the loop that is positive in nature which basically gives us the energy output okay. and then you have the exhaust stroke which again you know brings about the negative loop in the cycle okay so i would say that the complete cycle is from 0 to 4 pi from 0 to pi you have your suction stroke from pi to 2 pi you have compression stroke both will have negative loops then from 2 pi to 3 pi we have the working stroke so only the working stroke is positive and last is 3 pi to 4 pi, which is exhaust. So exhaust is also negative. All right. So you can see that there is a fluctuation in the energy or the torque which is produced. So there is a maximum torque which is achieved in the working stroke. And there is a mean value. Okay. So this is the mean value. Now, let's move on to the next video and now find out the fluctuation in the energy. How do we mathematically calculate the fluctuation in the energy?